It's not often I have to start a video like this by saying that viewer discretion is advised, but Enzo's injuries were pretty graphic. Good morning. Yeah, if I look tired, it's, well, it's because I'm very tired. I got like no sleep. But it's okay, Papa. Not complaining, just venting. Not complaining, just venting. I know, Pop. It's gonna be okay. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. We'll be back. Okay, here we are. No, not getting out. I just wanna show them. I just wanna show everybody that I did clean the entire truck after yesterday's disaster. And now I let you back in it. Watch out. Okay, well, um, day two of my fun-filled adventure. I am correcting two mistakes from yesterday. The first mistake is not vlogging because yesterday was a poppin' pop. I thought it was just gonna be like a normal vet visit, not a big deal. Uh, the other mistake I rectified is, you probably can't tell, but I have a big bag of terry towels with me. Like that I used to wipe them down because it took me about a half a box of tissues and a bunch of diaper wipes and I'll show you the clip. It's okay, Bubba, good boy. Okay. Well, we almost made it to the vet. Emphasis on almost, poor guy. I mean, he held part of it, he didn't go all of it. Oh, poor guy. What was going to be a, a day off turned into a vet visit, not a big deal. Turned into a vet visit plus cleaning the rugs and the truck, five plus hour ordeal. And then when I was wiping them down, I found this. Oh my gosh, Enzo, what did you hit? Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to go to MedVet. I called MedVet last night. It was gonna be, they were estimating a five hour wait. Bad as it looks, it wasn't really bleeding a whole lot or anything like that. I mean, like if you touched it like with gauze, all right, come here, Enzo. Just try to get one good look at this, though. So I just hit it with some saline and then wrapped it as best I could for the night. I either spend five hours in the middle of the night and then sleep all day, or I sleep. Fun fact, didn't sleep. That's what we're doing today. Welcome for the journey. I'm not taking the potty right before we go in. I mean, I know if he has an accident in there, they'll obviously take care of it. Hate the thought of him having an accident in a crate. Like, that's just the worst. Oh, good boy, Enzo. Remembered the camera, not my backpack with the camera clip. So, we're doing this iPhone style. Want to see if his weight changed in 20, 18 hours? Actually, it does look like it's changed. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like it just like, like a pound. Yeah, it's like Enzo. a couple pounds. You were just here yesterday. Now, like Less than 24 hours. Oh, what are you doing? <sighs> That's the million oh. dollar question. Yeah. Enzo. Oh, what did you do, buddy? We were outside and I was vacuuming out and cleaning out the truck from his accident in the truck yesterday. Yeah. So like if it happened when he was vacuuming and he made us noise, I didn't hear it. But like he didn't, I was wiping him down and then I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Enzo. Okay. Thank y'all. Do you need anything else from me? No. Okay. Thank y'all. Okay. Well, as per usual, I feel sick to my stomach leaving him. 18 hours since we were here last. Oh my gosh. There is something oddly comforting though about being able to see what's wrong. So many times with him, especially, it's always a weird limp or weird behavior or a lump. You know, it's not to say that I'm not worried something's gonna happen, but like not that stressed about this. Hey, uh, I just dropped Enzo off. I forgot to ask, um, are you gonna have to sedate him? Okay, if you do, will you trim, will you like grind his nails or trim them? Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you. Okay. What are you doing, car? Like, what is, I, I, it boggles my mind, the thought processes of idiots. Because I'm going to have to go get him again. So that's the thing. I think it might just be best. Plus I got no sleep last night. So I'm thinking it might just be best to just take the day. The fact that I've worked two days in like the last 14 or 15 days, that's irrelevant. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Have a good day. You too. <sighs> Plus I need breakfast. All right, it's four o'clock. So that's six hours later, um, but he is done and I'm gonna go pick him up. I mean, I'm actually already here. I'm gonna go in and get him now, and then we will discuss everything that he cost me. Bubba, oh my gosh, what happened? 
Oh my gosh, Bubba, you got a drain? I know the drain's not that big of a deal, but it really is kind of freaky to look at. Like to know that that's like coming out of him and in him and I'm still not fully understanding what that's for. They said a lot, I'm gonna be, be honest. Oh my god, I literally woke you up. They actually go home and pass out. That would be nice. Thank you. Hopefully we don't see you for a few days. It's oh. going to drain downward. It should drain downward for you. Okay. Um, wow, buddy, you really did yeah, it. Yeah, so oh it, it goes through um, for you. The topper is just more or Air. less for us to catch it for oh, when, okay. if, uh, like when we pull it out. So really nothing should come out of the top. But we just, that's just how we pivot more or less for it. Yeah, but when like I shaved it, I literally only shaved it to here. And then like when they like fully did it, we're like, we're gonna shave upward. And I was like, it's so scratched up here. I was like, oh my Gosh. God. Yeah, he's draining a little bit down here. You can already see it. So I would put a shirt on him. Okay. Um, just so you don't have any leakage or anything like that on your couches or bed or anything like that for you. Okay. He's like a boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Make it up. We'll go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Enzo. Well, that's a good boy. Here, I'll help you. Come on. Come on, Enzo. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. I got you. Okay. Let me see. Oh, my goodness, Baba. What did you do? Won't you lay down, Baba? Why don't you lay down? You warm? They said you were sleeping. They said you were sleeping. They had to wake you up. How you doing? You waking up a little? You need to go out? I still haven't figured out what caused this. This was kind of my first thought, was this gate had maybe come, but I mean, with the tree there, I really don't think they would hit that. Oh, good boy, go potty. So they like to run the fence line, so it's like, well, maybe something's sticking out there, but I don't know what it could be. Oh, well, I just, I don't know what you did, sweetie. Worries me though, I need to figure it out. You don't need to poop? It seems unlikely. Okay. So like, I wonder like, oh, well maybe there was something over here, but like, I don't see anything. Oh, I just really do not know what you did. Sweetie, what did you do? Walk around and see if I can find things that like, are this high up. Show them how, how it's doing. Well, come here. Let's show them. This is why we do like a little pre screen ahead of time where I set up the camera and everything, kind of work out all the crazies. We did that. We did that already. This is supposed to be the actual filming. Okay, let's see. Do you find it ironic that your shirt has hair on it now, too? No, no, no. Are your stitches purple? That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is his tube. Watch out, Lo. No, no, no. Circle back. No, 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 Lo. Lo, stop. No, no, no. I need you this way. I need. Come here. Come here. I need you to face this way. Stop. Okay. Right there. Yeah, that's good. All right. There we go. Yeah. You sure did a number there, Dot. Huh, Bubba? The shirt is really more just about so it doesn't like drain onto the carpet and stuff like that. I mean, obviously it provides some protection, but he's not officially on any type of rest. This happened on Thursday. Today is Sunday. Other than Thursday, which was kind of a mess, it was funny. Like he's been on anesthesia before. You know, they're always a little loopy, but it's fine. He couldn't come up the stairs and stuff. So we ended up hanging out in the living room downstairs for a few hours because he just couldn't. Like it, it was a struggle to get him into the living room. He was so out of it. Negotiable. Okay, you got to lay down. 
Come on, lay down. You look like you're about to fall over. Just lay down. I seriously thought you were about to fall. He's obviously fine now. Once that wore off though, he's basically been normal and the only reason the vet said to restrict his activity is not because they're really worried that he's going to like hurt himself. It's just more like, well, obviously he did that by running into something. We don't want him to run into something else and do it. As far as the cost, it really wasn't that bad. $794, which is always funny because they always give this like huge like preface before they tell you the cost. They're like, it's like they're trying to justify it because I can only imagine what some people do when they hear the cost. In my mind though, like I'm already thinking like, gosh, it's gonna be like easily a thousand dollars. So I was like thrilled that it was only 750. What I've done is I measured where the puncture was. I did this pull. Now obviously you could have jumped up or down or something, but this is to kind of give me like an idea. I can walk around the property and just kind of see like because my initial thought was, oh, it was something on the gate. But honestly, I don't even know what it could have been. And with the tree here, this wasn't here. But with the tree here, I don't even know. So we're trying to figure out what you did, Bubba. See? Got the measurements. Help him, Bubba? No. Hmm. That seems to be the right height. Where were you in the moment in question, huh? You got alibi? You got alibi? Look at me. You got alibis? This seems to be the right height. Did you do it? You played the fifth? This seems to be the right height, Lyle. And all around the property edges. I'm only doing the edges because, you know, if you're out here in the middle, I really don't think there's really much that can hit other than, again, where were you, Lo? I just, I mean, that's an awfully pup and convincing argument. Not gonna lie, Lo. Like, that is like right at the teeth level. Not gonna lie. Not the best optics for pup pup. And then somebody suggested in the comments something like, well, like one time my pup had a stick and they ran into each other. But it's like, oh my gosh, I mean, there's like a million different sticks and stuff. How would I know? I don't know where that came from, though. That's weird. Again, not good optics, low. <laughs> All right, you ready to go, Bubba? Get this taken out. I'm going to show them how we're doing. Lotus got a hold of it earlier, I think, when I was changing his shirt. And it's a little pulled out. Bye, bye, pup, pup. Bye bye, Papa. Dang it. I'm just trying to film you, Bubba. Oh, there you are. Me rolling, they hate time. I get that you're worried I'm gonna leave you, but trust me, you you don't wanna come. Pretty sure most of these shirts are ruined anyways, but yeah. Did baby brother do that a minute ago? I think yeah. There aren't baby brothers. Here I go in here. Yeah. Wow. Does anybody else find it ironic that there's dog hair on the outside of the shirt? Do you find that ironic? Sit. Boy. Get this tube removed. Pop that tube. Boy. No, it's been going pretty well. Uh, when I went to change his shirt today, Lotus kind of got a hold of the tube, I think. I'm gonna get this tube taken out. Yeah, let's see. There you go. Because so. Wow, that was quick. But I did good. I wow. See, that wasn't so bad. See, that wasn't bad at all. She even said, she's like, nope, your brother's the wild one. You're just the vocal one. All right, go on. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's see. Yep, it's leaking a little, wow. Come here. Wow, that does look a little more dramatic kind of with the hole there. You okay? Put the shirt back on just to keep the blood splatter down because we've watched Dexter. We know how that works. Watch out. So I've actually spent days going around and just every time we're outside now, I spend my time like looking around. It's like, okay, well, you know, here's maybe, like maybe did it crawl into the airstream? But like, although more than likely it would be at a different angle. I honestly, I have, I have no idea. Give you guys a little sneak peek. You can see it's kind of a mess in here. Uh, you can also see I have part of the couch in here. Yeah, take this off. You can see I have part of the couch. It's not officially installed. I'm just kind of toying with the idea um, because 
just kind of toying with the idea, but what I like is that I can keep the batteries under there and safe and secure when we're traveling. For those of you who really know what you're looking at, you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, that's where Rally's litter box thing was, and you are correct. As fun as it was having Rally on the adventure. Seriously? All jokes aside, as heartbreaking as it is to think about not seeing her for a few months, I'm thinking she might stay with Nisha's mom. <sighs> Which makes me really sad, but honestly, as much as I love having her with me, I think she'll prefer it. She loves Tatum and... Fun fact, cats! Rally is like the, the slow part about traveling. There are those times where it's like, I think to myself, like, I could just power through. I'll get a good night's sleep, we'll get up early, I'll take the pups, we'll get a bunch of exercise, so that way they'll be like snoozing, and I'll just drive. I'll get a bunch of driving done today. But I still have to stop every so many hours, and I have to stop for at least an hour or more to give her time to get into the Airstream, to relax, to have time to eat, to have time to drink, to have time to go to the bathroom. So like, she really is my limiting factor a lot of the times. What are you doing? Working on more puncture ones? <laughs> I'm gonna get them stitches out. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's looking so good, Baba. Not gonna be snitched no more. Hi, Santa. Is it? back again. Hi, Fernand. 102. Wow. Crank. Good boy. <laughs> I know, you see the mother pop pops. I know. Thankfully, Nisha asked me to send her a photo, so I got back here to look, and he had one left. Now we get the watch. Yeah, all oh, that little piece there. No, it's actually where the tube was. Oh, down there. Ah. Okay. Good boy, Enzo. Good job. Good boy, you're okay. Hold on. Make sure you grab it. It's okay. Hold on, Enzo. Good job. Hold on, hold on, bud. Hold on. You're okay. Hmm? Cut your skin. There we go. You could have just had Lotus do that. That's exactly right. <laughs> all right, awesome. All right, thank you. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> but now we're all good. Look how good that looks, Bubba. You can't even tell. It's so good. Watch out. Wow, this is so good. You know, Bubba, I was just thinking that between you and you two, Lo, Enzo has had, this year started off with the lump and now this. Lotus had his tail little surgery thing he had to get removed. Lo uh, Rally had teeth removed. Like it's been a year of nothing but troubles. So next year, yeah, get them nails. Yeah, get them nails called down. Anyways, it has been a heck of a year with vet visits and I really hope that, considering we weren't traveling or anything, I really hope this is just kind of an anomaly. I appreciate you all as always, especially the Patreons who support us each and every month with their donations. I love you all and we'll see you on the next one. Later.